Hello, Serge here from the back porch. Well, as you can see by my background, still have plenty of snow here, but today it's really gotten nice. It's 48 degrees at the moment, and the snow is melting. I can hear it dripping down the, off, the, off the roof over here, and, and the streets are starting to thaw out a little bit, so I, we can actually get out on the roads. And I got out here this morning and shoveled off the back porch so I could walk around here without having to have boots on. And so today, uh, I guess if you're like me, you started watching PJ Tour a lot. Uh, it's back on TV, the first event of the year, uh, Sony Open is up, and and between uh, Golf Central and all the other news highlights and commercials and promos and everything else, we're starting to get our fill of uh, golf instruction. And so I thought I'd talk about one that I've seen uh, at least three or four times now. I've seen a promo for uh, one of the golf instruction programs where the teacher is given a lesson, and basically the comment that is that I've heard every time said is, is he tells the students, now the golf swing is just turn back and turn through. All right, so we know what that's we know what swing that's talking about the rotational golf swing, which is all about turn. Most of the power is coming from your body, not from your hands and arms, as compared to the surge swing, which is we believe it's the power comes from centrifugal force, like swinging a rock on the end of a string, and the f faster uh, that rock starts going out there, the the less my hand moves. Well, we know the symbolism in that that I deal with in in teaching it in the surge swing is that the rock is the club head, the shaft in my forward arm is the string. And my hand symbolized. My hand is symbolized by the entire body. So we get our power by actually moving the body less, so we can swing the arms faster. So we're not about a big swing, a big turn. We're about turning the body less, and and that turn is where we stand here, and we only take the club. And from a backswing viewpoint, we just turn enough to get the forward arm over the back, over the toe line, and from there we lift up into the tree. And then as from the top, as we swing down, we we come back down, we strike the ball. For the back, the, the back arm gets over the toe line, and we and, and into the forward mitt, and we swing up the tree, and we finish in the tee finish with the with the chest facing the target. And the most important thing in the end of that swing is a recoil and relax, where the club comes back to the target. That that's going to assure us that we're always pull, uh, keeping in a very tight, so I like to call it bowling alley or aiming alley, which is the line from the aiming line to your toe line. If you swing and keep your arms in that aiming line, in that or as I call it, the aiming alley, your ball will have a good chance of staying there. So we turn the body less. The, the surge swingers, as you all know if you've been with me in the past and for those just coming on, the surge swingers we turn only to the toe line and we lift into the catcher's mitt. The catcher's mitt is out near the aiming line, go in the mitt and up the tree. So we turn, we turn a little. The turn is just about 70 degrees to get here and up. And then on the back side, once you turn from there, we come back, we strike the ball where the shoulders are relatively parallel left of the, of the aiming line, the hips are open a little. We swing through where the, full, the, the, the back arm gets over the toe line up the tree. So we're a little bit of turn, a lot of lift on both sides. We're swinging the arms of the club. So when we want to hit the ball, we hit it with more with less body and more arms. And if we want to hit a little bit harder, we don't take a bigger turn. We just stand there, hold our legs a little bit firmer, hold our body, take our still very limited turn, and just swing the arms faster. Okay? So we're less turn. Turn is, first and foremost, not the way the body's designed to move, and that's why th these big turn swings are causing so much pre problems with, with starting with the uh, lower back and, and back issues all the way up to neck and shoulders and, and everywhere else you want you want to think about hurting, that's where the turn gets you. So again, when you're watching these, when you're watching these golf tournaments now, listen to these announcers and uh, sports the, 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 that are calling the, the game, uh, you know, the rounds out there, and they're talking about the golf swing and everything else, just remember, always ask yourself, is this the way my body's designed and is the things they're saying about swinging the club conform to the laws of physics and you know that's that's the message you, that you get from the surge and all my certified teachers and on swingsurgeon.com we deal with pure physics and pure physiology the way God created the world to turn so ask those questions and if it's talking about a lot of turn and they're talking about clubs getting laid off and everything else you know that's not where you want to be you want to be in the mitt and up the tree vertical swing light club swing the vertical way and you'll be hitting the ball more solid, straight, and longer, and you will not be doing it in pain. You'll be swinging pain-free. Well, that's it from the search today on the start of this new season and the PGA Tour. To all of us start listening, listening to the right things, do the right things, and get our swings grooved and moving on the right way. Well, again, that's it from the search today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.